our group will see all of the athletes. We test them all because that becomes part of their medical component that when they go down into the orthopedic testing on their second day, they, um, they take this information with them. Um, we'll see like uh, whatever they invite, typically it's 300 plus. The last few years it's been around 325 um, athletes that we see over the course of the four days that we test them. Um, and so roughly, you know, it, it works out to 75 to 80 per day, depending upon um, how many they invite in per position. They come in, they warm up a little bit, we put them in the device, um, run them through their two tests, and they're gone. Because they've got so much that they've got to do with the first medical days, because they're getting blood work, they're getting x-rays, they're getting MRIs, they're doing a psych eval, all those kind of things before they get down into the tunnel and onto Lucas Field and do their actual um, on the field performance stuff. One of the things that we do with this testing is we evaluate the soundness of an athlete's knee um, and looking at not only how much strength they've got but also how much power they've got. And so when we test them we look at their body weight and we look at how their hamstrings, which are the back of the leg, the quadriceps, which are the front of the leg, how those interact and if there's any imbalance between them there might be some deficiency, they might be at risk for injury. There's other things that we look at with um, the printout. We have a signature, a, a, a torque curve, and we'll look at this torque curve and there are some definite patterns that do occur when somebody has, say, an ACL deficiency. We'll see a definite dip at a specific location within their curve that shows that whether they've either had an injury that has been undiagnosed or they've got an old injury that hasn't been quite rehabbed back to where they're really in full control of it. Basically from an, a team standpoint, they're buying a used vehicle in, in kind of an analogy and they need to know everything that's wrong with this, this athlete that might potentially, that they're putting a lot of money into and invest that might never see the field. And so this gives the team owners a better picture of how durable, I guess, or you know, the, the possible liability of selecting this particular athlete for their team, or even what they have to do to make this athlete better to get them into their scheme. For me, you know, it, and everybody always asks, who's my favorite team? I really don't have a favorite team. It's more about players that I've followed their careers in college, but from the dynamics of a game, even just with what I do, I see a game so much differently because not just from the strategy standpoint, but from the biomechanical standpoint of, I can see that, okay, this athlete, he favors this side, that's why they, you know, that's why you can take advantage of this athlete, and, you know, and, and so it's just a different dynamic as to the way I see things.